In any given solution, the concentration of H3O plus and the concentration of OH minus are typically very, very small numbers, like on the magnitude of 10 to the minus 5 to 10 to the minus 10, somewhere like that. Because they are such small numbers, we like to express them as larger numbers, and we do this by taking the negative log of the H3O plus concentration or the negative log of the OH minus concentration. The log function takes this teeny tiny H3O plus concentration and it makes it into a number with greater magnitude. Um, and same thing over here with the OH minus. Unfortunately, the log function takes our H3O plus concentration and it turns it negative. So the log function gives it a greater magnitude, but it makes it a negative number. So we have this little negative sign out in front that fixes the negative. So the negative sign is here to make the number positive. The log function is here to make the number larger. When we take the negative log of the H3O plus concentration, the result is what we refer to as the pH. Let's do a couple of pH calculations. So in the previous video, one of the things that I talked about was when we have a solution that we define as neutral. So the definition of a neutral solution is one where the H3O plus concentration is equal to one times 10 to the minus seven. And also the OH minus concentration is one times 10 to the minus seven as well. So let's do a pH calculation on this neutral solution. If we wanted to calculate the pH of this, we would take the negative log of the H3O plus concentration, which is one times 10 to the minus seven. And this is gonna work out to a pH of seven. So for a neutral solution, always the pH is going to be equal to seven. In the previous video, we also talked about um, when a solution has a concentration of H3O plus and OH minus that is not exactly the same. So for a solution that is acidic, for an acid solution, I told you that in that situation, the H3O plus concentration is just something that is greater than one times 10 to the minus seven molar. It could literally be anything bigger than that number. So let's do a pH calculation on, on this, on something that is greater than one times 10 to the minus seven. Negative log of anything greater than one times 10 to the minus seven. Let's say one times 10 to the minus three that's greater than one times 10 to the minus seven. That's gonna be a pH of three. Um, in general, for all acidic solutions, the pH is going to be some number that is less than seven. So the H3O plus concentration is greater than one times 10 to the minus seven, and this causes the pH to be some number less than seven. And then let's do our last scenario here. For a solution that is a base, we said that the H3O plus concentration for a solution that is a base is going to be less than 1 times 10 to the minus 7. And so some number less than 1 times 10 to the minus 7, let's use 1 times 10 to the minus 10. pH, um, if we have an H3O plus concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 7, or 1 times 10 to the minus 10, this is gonna give us a pH of 10. And now we can generalize this to a solution that is a base or a basic pH. Basic pH is always going to be something greater than seven. We can do all these exact same calculations with the OH minus concentration, giving us something called POH. POH is not used as frequently as pH, but as we're gonna find um, in the next few videos, POH can sometimes be really, really handy. One thing that's really handy about the POH is that the pH and the POH of any solution together is always equal to 14. Sometimes it's faster to calculate the POH than the pH, and then this equation right here comes, comes in really handy. Let's just take a quick look at you know, how this equation is true, why this equation is true. This equation comes from the KW uh, expression, which says that the H3O plus concentration is, um, excuse me, times the OH minus concentration is equal to one times 10 to the minus 14. And if we were to take the log function of both sides of this equation, so the log of the H3O plus concentration times the OH minus concentration, 
um, and that's equal to the log of 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So again, I'm just taking the log of both sides of this equation using properties of log. The log of A times B is going to be equal to the log of A log of H3O plus plus the log of B log of OH minus. And the log of 1 times 10 to the minus 14 is a minus 14. If we um, just stick a negative sign in front of everything in this equation, so a negative log here, we'll put a negative log here, and we'll change this to a positive 14 over there. The negative log of H3O plus, which is the pH, minus log of OH, uh, negative log of OH minus is the pOH, and that is equal to 14. So that's a handy little derivation right there. And this relationship is one that we will use quite a bit in our calculations. So let me put a box around that because that's important. One last thing that I'm going to leave you with, occasionally, it's not quite as often, but occasionally we know the pH of a solution or we know the pOH of a solution and we need to calculate the H3O plus or the OH minus concentration from that. And so if we're in that sort of a situation where we know the pH and need to calculate the H3O plus from the pH, we can do the inverse log calculation. So this looks like this, H3O plus is equal to 10 to the negative pH. And then likewise, OH minus is equal to 10 to the negative POH.